Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of The Bibliophiles. Now, I was never really much of a fan of the first G.I. Joe cartoons, mainly because it was before my time. You know, I was more, in, I was in the, uh, G, I was in the, uh, the, uh, Power Rangers Pokemon generation. But I can still recognize that it's, it's a pretty cool show. And, um, t today I'm going to be talking about a graphic novel, uh, Hearts and Minds. And, um, <clears throat> I thought this was an interesting thing to talk about because it gets it in, it gets into the, psychology of, or it gets into the heads of the various well-known characters, like uh, Dr. Mindbender and, um, well, mostly like they're like second-tier characters besides Mindbender, but um, what I thought was really interesting was, um, was a, a particular part called um, The Recruits, where it talks about why the various people join Cobra and um, you know like um, and I thought that was pretty interesting <clears throat> and, but and uh, the, I guess I should talk about the artwork too and I thought that they did a good job and anyway um, but really unless you're like a fan of like G.I. Joe you're probably not going to be much of a fan of this, so I think I'd, on the whole, I'd probably give it, um, say, like four, like three, maybe four stars, because really, if you're, unless you're a fan, you're not going to know who any of these guys are, no, no, three stars, unless you're a fan, you're not going to know who any of these guys are, you're not really going to give much of, much care over any of them, but it's still a sort of recommended. It's interesting getting into the characters' heads, and um, it's like I said, especially recruits. And um, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, till next time. Um, I'm your host, signing off.